another one that is really cool that I've never actually used. Okay, I've never used this, I've never owned it. It's it's only 58 BV. It has bugger all armor. There's nothing. There's like two points on each location and one on the sides. <laughs> but the Ferret Light Scout VTOL. Its cruise is 15 and its flank is 23. So at cruising speed, it can make it pretty much a whole map sheet. It comes with one machine gun and one ton of ammo and one ton of infantry space. So you can put a squad of infantry into yeah. that, right? Which is like seven troopers or something, I think it works out to. Um, and then the, the only thing I think of with this, whenever ever I think of this one, and I've thought about buying one and using it, is to put like a tag troop in there. So you have tag infantry yeah. as a squad. And you could even take three of these dudes and one platoon of tag infantry, split them up between the helicopters and go. Just even as a spotter, that would be really handy. Well, that's wow. for, for indirect fire, that is gold. I mean, you keep it up high and move 23 and you've got a massive modifier for like uh, 18 to 24 is plus five. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, 18 to 24 is plus five. Plus five. And then plus one for being a VTOL. VTOL that's moving. So if you can get even close to 23, if you can get above 18 hexes that you've actually travelled through and you're moving as a VTOL, you've got a plus six. And that's just... <laughs> That's just go wow. <laughs> if you've got anything less than a LVX cannon to shoot at, yeah. yeah. Mm. But if, if you're facing mechs that are uh, standard pilots, there are four gunnery. That is automatically a 10. And then you modify as you see. But that's automatically, your base number is a 10. That's gold. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> that's very cool. But that, I mean, it won't last long. If someone does hit it, it will be destroyed by the first thing that hits it, most likely. But getting that one squad of infantry the whole way down the board, dropping them near some sort of objective that, that needs to be spotted, destroyed, called artillery and on anything like that. Yeah. You, you sit that infantry there. Either it's going to accomplish the task that you sent it to do, or it's going to annoy the crap out of your enemy and they're going to send someone back to try and take it on. Yeah. Which means that they're not over here shooting you. That's they're over right. there doing that. It's, right? it's enough of an annoyance that you probably can't leave it alone. You wouldn't be able to leave it you alone, just... especially with tag infantry. Well, yeah. yeah. With, with tag infantry, if you know they've got something that uses tag to come in, you need to take that thing out. If it's near an objective or near something static that, that needs protecting, then that tag will bring loads of bombs in on it in no time. So, yeah, it is worth... Mm. Worth giving it a thought for 58 BV. I don't know what a squad of infantry costs, but we'll go into that at some point. Uh, it can't be much. It's probably less than 50. You can, yeah, you can put a pretty solid, solidly skilled pilot in there for less than 100. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Um, don't take too many of them, though, because it's so much maths and keeping track of stuff. And, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's... Um, it's just gold. I love it. Um, I think there's a couple of variants as well. There's an armor variant, a cargo variant. Um, cargo variant. Okay. Yeah, so they take out the armor. So all of the armor is gone. <laughs> um, you can... You can carry two and a half tons of uh, cargo. And this is a... For the guys that are out there, I know Mikey and, and Bregel and them are all talking about scenarios and things like that. And having some sort of cargo that you have to pick up and drop off or that you have to secure in some way, making people buy vehicles like this or thinking about buying vehicles like this is actually a really cool way to get them to think differently. Yeah. Um, like a cargo variant, it's only got one door that you can carry. Uh, that you can use, so you can only um, put in, I think it's one ton per door per turn or something like that. I can't remember what the actual rules are, but you can make some house rules up. Um, and it can lift a total of 7.75 tons of cargo at the expense of a 50% reduction in performance. Okay. 
So there you go. Mm. And then they've got a like a funky ferret that's um, <laughs> funky ferret. Uh, the ferret Fermi, <laughs> which is um, it's got a fusion engine, Myama threads and main rotor. Wow. It uses vehicle stealth armor and ECM suite. It's got a fuel cell. It's got all sorts of cool funky stuff. But there's what three different variants plus the standard. So it's not really hugely varied, but just that infantry carrier thing that's there, I like it. I reckon that's cool. 